We're in constant discussions uh, with Microsoft over whether or not we'll actually end up validating it or not, um, but it's not on our roadmap as of this second. And I will tell you that we're in constant uh, talks with them to figure out where we really want to go. Okay. Typically, our customers uh, want kind of that guarantee from Intel that we've tested it all together and worked it all together. Uh, whether or not uh, Microsoft doing that uh, will be good enough for our customers or not really is our customers call not ours. Uh, and again, I, you know, I want to reiterate, we're still in discussions with them. Uh, we can always change our mind. Um, today, that's not where we're investing. And, it, and to answer your other question, it, it's simply a price point. Um, you know, we think that the reason netbooks have taken off is we have delivered on the promise of a purpose-built device that is extraordinarily affordable, uh, thanks to people like HP and Samsung who have, you know, done devices. Um, when you add uh, a higher priced OS to that mix, we're not sure that that's the right thing for the market simply because it may tip that affordability to a point where um, really what you ought to be doing is looking at a consumer ULP scheme, uh, which would be coming out with has much better balanced performance and would make more sense for that OS. So uh, when, when Microsoft did decide recently that Windows 7, they were going to lift some of the restrictions, the, the three-app limit, that must have been well, sort of good and bad news for you. On the one hand, great news. Okay. Nothing bad about it at all. Uh, I think it's wonderful that uh, they're putting a more robust OS out at, at uh, I assume the same price point. I, you know, Microsoft doesn't have their pricing, but I would assume it's at the same price point. Okay. And um, and just to follow up on the question that Mark asked earlier, um, in terms of ARM, I mean, that seemed to be the big thing at Computex is these ARM-based uh, computers. Um, that seems to be serving a niche that I think people thought netbooks were for at first, which is these sort of quick internet access devices. Is, is Intel sort of more adopting the idea that really their laptops, their little laptops, they're not as powerful as big laptops, but people aren't going to be as happy if they pick up something with an ARM processor that can't run Windows, can't run the applications that they want. Our, I'm sorry, our, our positioning uh, has remained unchanged from the beginning, and it's, it's kind of funny because initially everyone made fun of me. Uh, these things will never work, no one will ever buy them, and now we have all kinds of people uh, that are trying to get in the market. So, you know, we started out with a use case that said people want to get on the internet, they want to do light editing, they want to do social networking, uh, they want to run Word and maybe uh, lightly tweak a document. Um, that continues to be what people are doing with these devices. And we've always said it would be a companion device. Uh, again, you know, 90 to 92% of the people who are buying these have already bought a notebook uh, or a desktop or both. Uh, and then they buy these as an adjunct device. We still see that happening and continuing to, to uh, be the trend. Um, so if you look at uh, the ARM device, uh, I don't see that as replacing that use case. Now, they may have a completely different use case, which people gravitate towards, and be yet a different companion device, um, but I don't see that, and in fact, I think the reason they perhaps named it something different is they don't see it as a head-to-head -head, uh, competition either.